Serial Tool is the most advanced software for serial port communication currently available on the market. Its ease of use, combined with its powerful features, makes it unique. This software is continuously developed and updated, offering unparalleled stability and user friendliness. Designed for intensive serial port logging, Serial Tool is ideal for both occasional use and as a continuous monitoring and logging system for one or multiple serial ports. Serial Tool is dedicated to all developers who use the serial port daily for their projects, assisting them with the most intense debugging of their applications. Serial Tool is not only a software for professionals, but is also perfect for those who are new to electronics, using Arduino or similar boards, where the first exercises are always based on serial port communication. Serial Tool is the only software that is free for most of its features and allows you to manage multiple serial ports simultaneously without needing to launch multiple instances of the application. Serial Tool is the only software that includes an editor for writing Python scripts and an integrated library to directly use Serial Tool's graphical interface. By writing your script in Python, you can directly display data on the application's main screen without having to develop your own application. It is ideal for all professionals who want to provide their clients with professional software capable of running their Python program. Writing Python scripts saves hours of developing proprietary software and avoids the complicated management of graphical interfaces. Serial Tool provides a set of indispensable tools for the development of embedded platforms and in the industrial field. Additionally, Serial Tool includes a hex file editor to freely create and modify files. Serial Tool is cross-platform. It works seamlessly on 64-bit Windows, Mac OS, and Linux operating systems a single professional software that uses the same graphical interface and offers the same features across all PC operating systems. The graphical interface is intuitive and includes usage tips directly within the software, eliminating the need to read manuals or frantically search the internet to execute a specific function. In this tutorial, we will explore the basic features of Serial Tool in Pro Mode. Please note, that the free version has many limitations compared to the version used to create this tutorial. In this specific video, we will be working with two serial ports connected to each other in null modem mode. This means that their respective transmission and reception signals are cross-connected, as shown in this diagram. This tutorial was created using version 2.0.0 of Serial Tool. Later versions may have graphical and functional adjustments that are not covered in this tutorial. Some features may be removed, added, or modified in later versions. Therefore, please always refer to the latest version available on the website www.serialtool.com. Let's get started with this show. Once Serial Tool is launched, it presents a toolbar on the left side of your screen. The toolbar provides quick access to all the basic functions of this amazing software. The starting point is the assignment of the serial ports. By clicking on the appropriate button for serial port configuration, the screen will open, allowing you to set the serial ports to use from those available on your system. It is important to note that Serial Tool manages multiple serial ports within a single application. For this reason, every serial port you intend to use must be assigned. This means that for each physically available serial port on your PC that you plan to use, you need to associate it with a Serial Tool serial port. This association is essential for the subsequent use of the entire graphical interface. For example, we will now assign COM port 4 to Serial Port 1 and COM port 5 to Serial Port 2. As mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, our two COM ports are connected to each other in null modem mode. Once you've set the parameters of interest for opening the COM port, simply open it by pressing the Open button. One of the very important parameters that characterize Serial Tool is the ability to set the timeout from the last byte received. This parameter helps Serial Tool determine when a packet is considered complete. This is particularly useful in embedded applications where this parameter is valuable for thorough debugging. Once the serial ports you intend to use are assigned and opened, we are ready to take a quick tour of all the functions that the main screen offers. To the right, just after the toolbar, you'll find the Session Packets window. 
This window allows you to view all the packets sent and received by any serial port during a session. You can search within the session for specific packets containing bytes of interest. Additionally, you can export the entire session in text or CSV format. Moving to the top right, you'll find the Quick Buffer panel, which allows you to send a specific buffer to a serial port in either ASCII or hexadecimal format with the option to automatically add the CRC. In the central part of the software, you'll find the console terminal, which displays incoming bytes, just like a real terminal. Below that, there is the option to send bytes directly from the keyboard by pressing keys within this panel. The console terminal can be switched to the hex terminal by moving to the toolbar on the left and clicking on the hex icon. This will allow you to view all data traffic in hexadecimal mode. In this view mode, you can see all the incoming and outgoing traffic from all the assigned serial ports. The traffic is displayed in both hexadecimal and ASCII formats, with each serial port assigned its own color. However, it is possible to remove the colors and highlight specific bytes of interest with colors of your choice. Let's try sending some data using the quick buffer and see how it appears in hexadecimal. Here, we see the data in hexadecimal format. Over here, they are displayed in ASCII format. On the right, by selecting each individual byte, you can also view it in binary or octal format. Each packet is color-coded based on which port received or sent it. The colors can be modified from the settings menu. As you can see, the packets have appeared in the session packets window. By double-clicking on a packet, you can view all the information related to that packet and search for specific bytes. Finally, you can return to the console terminal mode by clicking on the appropriate icon. Now let's go through some other options directly available on the main screen of Serial Tool. Stop Data Flow. The Stop Data Flow button allows you to halt the display of all incoming data flow and prevent it from being printed on the screen. This function is useful when you need to temporarily stop a data flow. Start Recording Data. The Start Recording Data button allows you to save all traffic from a specific serial port or from all serial ports to a file. You can save the traffic in either text or binary format in append mode. Serial Controls The Serial Controls button allows you to quickly send specific bytes to a serial port and, at the same time, set the RTS, DTR, and break pins. This screen also displays statistics related to the bytes sent and received by each assigned serial port. The Terminal Settings button allows you to change several parameters related to the console terminal, such as the type of representation for incoming data, the mode of packetization for incoming data, and the maximum number of lines displayed on the console. It is recommended to keep this number below 10,000 characters to avoid slowing down the graphical interface. There is also an option to disable the display of incoming traffic in both the console terminal and the hex terminal. Another very useful option is the ability to display only the incoming packets to a specific serial port when the incoming packet is different from the one that preceded it. This option can be enabled for each assigned serial port. Now we will quickly go through some additional features of Serial Tool. Download Serial Tool now and try using this amazing software yourself to appreciate its ease of use. Let's move on to the alarm screen. By clicking on the alarms icon, Serial Tool allows you to set up alarms that trigger upon the arrival of specific bytes or when those bytes are absent from the packet. Alarms can be activated when a packet contains or does not contain, starts with or does not start with, the bytes you have specified. In such cases, the alarm is triggered. This feature is absolutely essential when searching for particular uh, byte sequences in the serial traffic or when you need to ensure that certain packets always begin with a specific sequence of bytes. Um, also, from the toolbar, you can select the multiple buffers screen, where you can quickly and easily save and send various byte strings. You can save configurations of multiple buffers so that they can be easily recalled in future uses of Serial Tool. From the toolbar, you can select the special buffers screen. This screen allows you to send bytes in a timed manner for a specified number of times. This function can be very useful when performing stress tests on a specific device. 
With the timed buffer sending, you can implement an ASCII or hexadecimal counter before or after sending the multiple buffer. This can help better identify the packets during repeated and timed transmissions. From the toolbar, you can select the Auto Answer screen. The Auto Answer functionality allows you to set up Serial Tool so that the software automatically responds when certain bytes arrive at a specific previously assigned serial port. For example, if you are working with a remote device, Serial Tool can automatically respond when the device sends specific bytes. Also from the toolbar, you can select the File Transfer screen. This feature allows you to send a file directly to the serial port by dividing it into blocks and sending them with a configurable delay. From the toolbar, you can select the Packet to Server screen. This mode allows you to redirect the incoming or outgoing serial traffic of a specific serial port directly to the network. You can choose the type of protocol for sending, including TCP, UDP, or HTTPS via GET or POST. Some examples of using PHP with this feature are available directly on the website www.serialtool.com. Um, from the toolbar, you can select the Serial Scope screen. This feature allows you to, to graphically visualize all incoming and outgoing traffic from a specific serial port, as if you were using an oscilloscope. Um, we won't delve into the specifics of this feature in this tutorial and encourage you to explore it yourself by downloading our software. Once again, from the toolbar, we select another screen called Modbus, currently in client mode. This feature allows you to send packets using the Modbus protocol in RTU or ASCII mode or via TCP. Now let's move on to one of the most exclusive features, Python scripting. From the toolbar, you can select the Python screen. As previously mentioned, Serial Tool is the only serial port software that currently allows you to create scripts using Python. Thanks to the integrated Python library in Serial Tool, you can directly control the Serial Tool graphical user interface with Python. You no longer need to spend hours designing your software in Python. Just a few lines of code and you'll have full control of Serial Tool. Some examples for managing serial ports, handling files, and displaying messages to the user are integrated into Serial Tool to assist developers. The Python integration is also an excellent tool for students and those new to programming. This tutorial is not dedicated to Python scripting, so we suggest reviewing all the official and updated documentation on the website www.serialtool.com. Another incredibly useful tool for developers is the SpyPort function. From the toolbar, select SpyPort. SpyPort is one of the most exclusive features of Serial Tool, allowing you to sniff, log, and monitor all the traffic on a serial port, even if it has been opened by third-party software. This function is managed by an advanced kernel driver for Windows, which enables the interception of all low-level calls to and from the serial port. Uh, please note that this feature is available only for Windows operating systems. For more details, we recommend watching the dedicated tutorial available on the website www.serialtool.com. Have you ever thought about how much a hex editor for files might cost? This is particularly true if you're considering purchasing such software for macOS or Linux, where the price can be quite high. Serial Tool gives you the chance to have a fully integrated hex editor at no additional cost. Let's take a moment to explore this fantastic tool that's at your fingertips. Begin by selecting Hex Editor from the toolbar. As of version 2.0.0, Serial Tool features a robust hex editor that can manage multiple files, even those that are extremely large. This tool is particularly valuable for developers, especially those working in the embedded systems field. Um, you'll find all the standard editing functions that you would expect in a hex editor. In this tutorial, we won't go into the specifics of how the hex editor works because it's very straightforward. However, it's important to highlight that the cost of a standalone professional hex editor often exceeds the price of Serial Tools Pro version. Now let's take a quick look at the Settings screen. In the Settings, you can configure various general parameters of Serial Tool, such as the styles, to tailor the software according to your specific needs. We encourage you to explore these options yourself, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us directly. That's all for now in this tutorial, which was created using the Pro version of Serial Tool. Some of the features shown in this video may be limited in the free version of Serial Tool. 
Download Serial Tool now directly from the official website at www.serialtool.com and start experiencing serial port usage in a completely new way. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you for watching this tutorial and we're here to help with any questions you may have. Uh, see you in the next tutorial.